If I can't make just one person happy, to a person who needs it most, then why am I here? I think it's time for me to find out that answer. Wait, Smirky, a project for charity? Smirk on? Why would you devote your time to charity rather than YouTube videos? Well, I guess one main reason is because of YouTube videos. In fact, I've always wanted to do something like this because of you guys. If it weren't from our encounters with each other, I wouldn't have thought of this in the first place. I wouldn't have thought of making an impact internationally. I've already made an impact on you guys for sure, whether I have or not, but the majority of you. Happiness, sadness, wanting to laugh, wanting to cry. As I have felt these emotions, you have felt those emotions with me, of course, whether or not you have, but still, the majority. And this has made me come to realize, not only do I have the power to spread happiness internationally, but everyone does. Everyone has a voice. Everyone can express this voice. So I thought I'd try that today. Today, in this video that will not be monetized, I'm going to commentate over the Charity Water clip. You can watch the full thing with the original audio on my campaign page, which will be linked in the, des in the description and will also be mentioned at the end of this video. So, without further ado, I'd like to launch Smirk On with the introduction of my charity water campaign. And this is the water crisis. Unfortunately, this nice, fresh, clean water is not accessed by everybody. In fact, in this water crisis, about 1 billion people are affected by it and do not have this clean water. Unfortunately, the water crisis is spread across multiple locations across the globe, and they are in dire need of clean water. Yet, they are left with this murky, unnecessary water that affects things such as education, health, poverty, and mainly women and children. Let's take this family that is affected by the water crisis. They're probably living on less than $1 per day. They can't just go up to the faucet and get a nice, crisp, refreshing glass of water because they don't have faucets. Instead, the women and children have to go out to the nearest lake and river, which can take up to three hours to get there and take the dirty, unnecessary water that they know could be contaminated by germs. Unfortunately, for these young girls, they do not have enough time to read, write, make an income, or even raise a family. In fact, women collect water more than anything else they, they do in their daily life. And the journey back home can be really dangerous. Some women are traveling in the dark, and some can even be attacked just by carrying water. Once they do get home, they know that the water is contaminated, but what other choice do they have, despite the fact that it can cause diarrhea, dehydration, and even death? Once again, but what other choice do they have? Every 19 seconds, a mother loses their child due to this contaminated water. As bad as it sounds, there are solutions to the water crisis, and it all begins with charity water. This is a big step into ensuring that people all across the globe have access to clean water, something that we have and they don't. Honestly, when I first heard this in the science classroom, I couldn't even believe what I was being told. In fact, right now, words cannot describe how, ugh, you know, how crazy it is to have them go through that, to risk their lives every day just to get some water, and contaminated water at least, so... I know, I'm just a guy at a computer screen, but... With this opportunity, with Charity Water, and the campaign system, 
I believe that we can make an impact. And honestly, at the time of recording this video, we already have. Let me show you. This is it, my charity water campaign page. Project Smirk On Water. This is the first of many charity events that I will be doing. And hopefully, we can raise enough money to affect many people. Right on the picture, you have the title of the project, the user, and right below that, Facebook, Twitter, and Gmail buttons to share with your friends and family. Below that, to the right, you see a mission statement. It's rather long. <laughs> to the left, you can see how much money has been raised, how many people could get clean water based on that amount, and how many days are left to donate. I had originally set the goal to $150, However, just 11 hours into this campaign, I had already reached that amount. Thank you to each and every contributor who has been able to give some funds to this project. It really means a lot. You have no idea. Right below the donate button, which you can donate via check, credit card, or PayPal, are the top donors by amount and time. Below the mission statement, you can see the full water crisis video without my boring commentary over it. And below, you can see the comments from the donors. You can add your own comment if you don't- if you, I will start over. If you decide to donate, you can add your own comment below. And as always, 100% of the donations fund water projects. Our donation will help fund a water project. And I think that is really cool. We're contributing to making people happy. That's my goal. And I hope you guys can agree with it. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I hope that, well, we can change some lives. Outside of YouTube, of course. To people who might need some happiness. Once again, the charity link is in the description below. And I will see you guys later. Thank you for watching this video. See you real soon. Smirk on.